This video will discuss how to properly use backups. If you want to follow along this video properly, then watch episode 1 of my modding guide series. In short, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a vanilla file and replacing the modded ones with it. So of course, after it'll be vanilla. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do this for the mod that we installed in the last episode, which was improved animation spec. And then we'll remove the less overtaking mod as well, just so I can show how to uninstall mods. After that, we're going to be basically completely vanilla besides the shit that came from the downgrader. First thing we'll do is to add them to img file since it's technically the most complicated. So what you could do is you could head to your backup directory and just copy and paste the to img file into your modded directories to replace it. But if you do do this, it'll replace every single file that's inside of the modded anim img file. So if you installed any other shit into that, it'll be gone afterwards. I'm just saying this because you'll really want to keep note of this if you do a bunch of individual vehicle mods and you just want to uninstall one model or something like that. But yeah, that can work in certain situations, but we're also going to do it the other way. Even if you didn't do this mod, I would go ahead and install that mod and just follow along with this video as it's really important for understanding how modding works. So what we'll do is we'll open OpenIV and change the directory to the vanilla one and then restart OpenIV so it actually, you know, shares the vanilla one. After that, we'll head to the anim.img file and find the files that the improved animations pack replaced. Once they're found, just drag and drop them somewhere on your computer, somewhere you know. Afterwards, go ahead and set the OpenIV directory to the modded one again and restart it. Then open the anim.img one that was in your modded directory and drag and drop the files that we extracted earlier into there. Now for some files that don't need to be opened with OpenIV, the weapon info.xml file for example. We'll head to common data in both the modded and vanilla directories and then copy the vanilla weapon info.xml file and paste it into the modded directory. After that just replace when you're asked to. Now to remove a script such as less overtaking, all you have to do is head to the scripts folder and remove the less overtaking.net.dll file. Now I'll just explain how you do backups for any text oriented files. For example, handling.dat. Basically what you'll do is you'll open up the vanilla and modded files and replace the modded text that you edited with the vanilla one. So what I'll do is I'll just add a bunch of shit to this admiral one so the handling would pretty much be broken and then I'll copy over the entire text line for the admiral and paste it over the modded one. Afterwards, the modded one will be completely vanilla because I don't have any handling mods. 